I feel like a million bucks. <laughs> Hopping in the STI today, man. Welcome back to the channel. What's going on? We're actually gonna get out to a car meet. I'll explain more in a minute, but look, I can already tell the hot cars are gonna be out. We got a convertible Gallardo over there, we got a Carrera over here, and that's uh, the tip of the iceberg. We're about to hit cars and cantina this morning. Anyways, let me grab some Chick fil A and I'll tell you more. Bag secure, we got two sandwiches. I, I was hoping for one on an English muffin, but I got two on a biscuit. I forgot it was breakfast time, so I kind of like spaced it. Anyways, that's besides the point. We're here at Cars and Cantina. We just got out with Tanner Fox yesterday, Mav, Gage, the whole gang. If y'all don't know any of those guys, uh, well, you probably do. They've all got a much larger following than me. Tanner Fox has 10 million subs. Gage has like a $15 million car collection, and it sounds like each one of the guys are gonna be driving another one of his different exotics, which we're gonna showcase here in a minute. You probably hear cars ripping by right Right now I'm in the lot across from the lot but anyways the plan is just to throw some octane back in the vlogs today man we used to do moto vlogs I don't know if y'all are aware of that Devin and I had like four motorcycles at one point in time we had a couple Ducatis we had a monster we had the 848 Corsa we also had two Honda Groms cars were also always a big interest to me and we had a, uh, a 370 for a little while we sold that we got the Camaro which we still have we bought and sold an M4 and also like a 2017 ZL1 we had for a time I'm in the STI and we used to go to cars and coffee every single month now now, the biggest car meet in town is, if I'm not mistaken, like to my knowledge, is Cars and Cantina, and the place is bumping. We gotta get you guys out here. And wah-bam! M3, holy stance. Dude, what? I feel like the car show is actually in the Shields lot. This thing's starting to fill up. This is the overflow. Haven't even finished my sandwiches yet, man. Here's the new M, though. It's pretty dope. Look, I know it probably looks nice out over here, 9.40 in the morning. I'm so sunburned from yesterday, the back of my neck is killing me. I think I'm gonna toss on this bad boy real quick. All right, let's go see what this is all about. All right, man, the place is packed. A lot is smaller than Cars and Coffee, but the turnout is still ridiculous. I'm gonna see if I can find some friends over here. Let's see. I like the Joe Tech Hurt Farm. Dude. We might have found the sickest two cars in the lot. This is off the chain. Look at this. Everyone's tripping, dude. Like, the whole crowd's watching these things leave. This is nuts. I think we actually found some of the hypercar row. Hold up. I think we might have to break out the rod and reel. What is this? Nobody told me. I think we found the ones, man. I heard some people saying. We'll never see one of these again. We found the gang, man. We found we found the hot rides out there. Holy smokes. So here's Gage from the vlog the other day out, out on the ponds. Let me tell you what. He's going to tell you about the four whips they brought here today. Uh, what, what do you got for us? We got the La Ferrari. Insane. And then we got the Koenigsegg Regier. And then Bugatti Chiron. And then the McLaren Center. All right, so Gage is letting us give you all a tour of the bad boys. So the Ferrari first. Let's, let's take a peek inside of this thing. Engine start on the steering wheel. There's your old reverse right there. Nothing but carbon fiber, dudes. So we'll save the newest for last, but the Bugatti next. Yeah, I don't want to get dirty. Go ahead. I don't, I don't want to get this thing dirty, but I've never sat in a Bugatti before. Oh my goodness. I feel like a million bucks. <laughs> so press to park, over and back for reverse. So we got the uh, 110 Ands Edition, it looks like, in here. This is ridiculous. Said, this is the newest one in their fleet. This is the Regera. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Looks like the old Ducati suspension right there, the Olins. All right, y'all, we saw the rise. I think it is time to go hit some pawns, man. Eh, watch a couple cars leave. Nothing crazy. 
maybe just some good summertime baits, see if we can throw out some tips here as we hit a pond or two. Okay, just rolled up, settled on a pond I haven't fished in a while. Thank you. Well, fishing ended up being just about terrible. So what we're gonna do is try and install a, uh, a roof rack. Well, we've got the roof rack actually. We're gonna try and set this up to put the kayak on here so we can do some pond hopping with the kayak on the STI. I think we left a screw inside of one of these kayaks. Actually, maybe it's the tool. So we have our 10 foot PDL pedal drive. Uh, old town kayak at home in the garage for a while y'all had seen it on the kayak trailer we just had it set up on here so we could have three kayaks on the trailer so now you might see the uh, old town kayak on top of the sti cruising through the dallas streets let us know where we should take the kayak off-roading in the sti that's what i'm most excited about whoa we actually found them dude all right Devin's behind the camera. I think we're about to link up with uh, Tanner Fox, potentially GG Exotic. Y'all know Gage uh, from a previous from a previous video, Raggy from a previous video that we did recently, <laughs> as well as Mav Maverick Leonard, and uh, do some fishing. We got a lot of combos in the truck, and I think we're gonna re-rig something real quick in the shade because it's like 95 degrees out. Fishing with Becca, literally, when I took her to this place, caught a six-pounder first cast. That's almost six. That is setting expectations extremely high for this pond in the middle of an apartment community. But we're gonna go for round two here, see if we can catch something in the four to five pound range out of this pond because none of the guys that we're taking fishing today have caught anything over like a three since we've been out with them this last couple days and that was their PBs for the majority of them. So some big bass would be so sick. Devin's gonna grab one of her confidence baits real quick and we're gonna rig that up and then we're gonna head to the spot. We're in luck, ladies and gents. This is my last little guy. We're gonna have to make a, a stop to like Shields or Academy or somewhere. I broke off on my other one and only had a handful of catches, so little last dark sleeper. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, good to go. We are here. It's about to be hot AF, y'all. I'm putting on the fireworks shirt. And did I mention it's windy today? I mean, extremely breezy. There might be some birds nests in today's episode, y'all, between the five or seven of us. I don't know who all's coming, but it's about to be a party here at the ponds. It's looking really good. I pretty much got moving baits rigged up for everybody, so hopefully they're on that bite. Otherwise, we're gonna have to re-rig seven different combos. It is looking crystal clear. Wow, I like this. It's windy. Let's go, boys, with the teriyaki. God damn. <laughs> this is my wife, Devin, y'all. Who is it? Busted. Busted. Nice Hi, I'm Tanner. Hey, hey, how are nice you? Where's that one where we caught a lot and there was like a there was like a ledge? All right, y'all. Spot one was a bust. We just like split. We said peace. We got a nice little small spot right behind us between the six of us. If we can't catch them here, something is absolutely wrong. But I'm more excited about the next one. This is just kind of like the appetizer to the main course coming up. So we got one that looks completely off the grid that we found just recently, and I've been wanting to fish again. So let me see if we can snag one real quick, and then uh, yeah, we're gonna try and get some bigs at the next spot. <laughs> Nobody knows about this because you gotta hop the fence to get in here. Mav, I hear you're the stunt man. If you want to go first, we'll just we'll hop it after you. Oh, is, it, is there anything? I don't know what. It, I, was, it I, I was trying to let Mav have some fun here. Just kidding. It's right over here. I don't know how it's gonna look, dude. This summertime it's probably overgrown, but we about to find out. Now that would have been a prank. If uh, okay, well I've been here once. Summertime, it's a little overgrown. It's tough for us to even cast. Like the grass is so thick. Oh, it, bro. you played yourself. Congratulations. Played it's a big. a fish, bro. It looked like it was biting, bro. It looked like it was biting, huh? Damn. Mav's on. Dude, that was like first cast. What first cast? First cast on the worm for Mav. Okay. We just moved over to uh, Backlash City, aka Dion Sanders' old house. He uh, stocked this pond with good bass because he's into bass fishing, actually. I don't know if y'all saw, we actually did a, a fishing Dion Sanders pond video, like I titled it that in the past. And uh, today we brought the gang from California out here. So hopefully, uh, <laughs> Dig City, baby. <laughs> Get him back in there and catch a five pounder, Maverick. Get him back in there and catch a five. <laughs> Future 10 pounder right here. Let's go. Future 10. Peace, buddy. That was sick right off the bat. I, I am just having trouble out here. Gage is on, Tanner's filming him. 
What's going down, y'all? You guys are obviously gonna have to check out Tanner's video. You're pro Dude, that's a good one. Probably living under a rock if you haven't seen Tanner's channel, but you've seen mine. But anyways, go check out his video. I'm gonna link his channel in the description. Uh, he's got 10 mil subs, so he doesn't really need, <laughs> need my help <laughs> to be found. But in case you haven't seen that, go check it out, man. They're catching bigs over there. All right, y'all, we're paw and hopping today, man. I think that's like four fish in three minutes now. Dude, oh, is it in the grass? Devin's got one. Is it big? Oh, shit. <laughs> she was cranking it through the grass. <laughs> How big do you think it is? I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess eight. All right, Tanner says eight. That is a good one. Oh my God, like it felt doom doom. And I set the hook and it jumped and I was like, I don't know. I had to pull it in oh, with all this grass. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. There you go, zero it out. 4.9. teetering. Four All right, so well. crazy. Four and a half. All right, Tanner's gonna get the big fish release right here. Let it go first. Like a little Look at him go. go. What? Look at that thing. <laughs> He's making a whole wake. That was nuts. <laughs> that was nuts. <laughs> Dang, good job, babe. Oh, hey, thanks. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she outfished us again. Deion Sanders <laughs> pond. <laughs> and you were just saying, literally right before that, he's like, I can't believe she hasn't caught one yet. Yeah. <laughs> so we just had a hiccup right there. It was a 4.84. She said 4.9 because sometimes it's reading in ounces, but sometimes it's reading in hundredths. So I was almost a five pounder. Whoa. Uh, so yeah, we just left. I kind of forgot to do the outro, but the uh, the gang is right behind us. I think we might link up later and try and do some night cat fishing. Completely different. We could catch a giant though. So I don't think this video is over with y'all. Stay, uh, stick around. A little intermission for dinner over at mom's place. Close the door. Nightlight out. <laughs> Just got back from dinner. We're bringing out the catfish rod and reel tonight. Man, we're hitting a small pond where Becca caught like a gigantic catfish last time she was in town. <sighs> Everyone's here. Let's get after it. All right, y'all. So the rigs we're using, honestly, I don't even know if it's like uh, Walmart pre rigged setups, but it's got like some beads on here. We're going to toss out. We just went to Kroger. Grab these at Walmart anywhere. Little smokies. Little smokies. Uh, we got two setups, so we're just gonna see who can grab the rod the fastest, I guess, when it comes to who's gonna catch the dang things. This one's got two hooks and a, and a couple weights here on the bottom, probably like one ounce a piece. Whoa! <laughs> First cast, man, little smokies are on. I'm gonna try not to cast them off. I kinda double hooked them. We'll see what happens. Oh, do catfish get really hungry? They, oh, dude, they'll eat anything and everything. Two. How big is this thing? Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, God. This thing's huge. This thing's huge. That's <laughs> you, bro. <laughs> Above and below 11. Yeah, get the iPhone for it. Okay. Alright, re rigging. I don't know. 
poor dude swallowed the hook because we thought he was a catfish. <laughs> yeah, I think you cast it. No, I think you recast it. I didn't recast that one because I was going to cast that one. Someone did this one. Someone was in charge of that, that one. Was that was Mav. Ugh. Mav casted this one. Oh, I did cast that you one. did cast it. Yep. Yep. Yeah, remember it was a new. Was that dead ass bigger than Mavericks? <laughs> yeah, yep. Just by like a few hundreds, but like you got them. Let's go. Oh. Biggest Texas fish. Hey, Mavericks, no, sorry to take that, that from you, man. Not I biggest Texas fish. I didn't mean to. I cast <laughs> Wait, why not? Oh, yeah, not biggest Texas I mean, fish. Biggest Texas bass. On the hot dog. <laughs> right? <laughs> Absolutely horrendous during that whole fiasco. We had so many more pointers we were throwing out, a lot of uh, baiting techniques and tips, but unfortunately I wasn't able to throw it in there. I had to take off the windscreen from the microphone that's on top of the camera in order to get that light to be able to fit on like this dual hot shoot. That, it's just a whole pain, but we're gonna work around it in the future and get great audio, even in high wind conditions. Uh, with a scenario like that, which is night fishing where I have the light as well, we'll probably just mount it externally. Something along those lines, who cares, right? What an awesome vlog. We did so much in today's episode. I'd love to do more stuff like this where it's just kind of off the cuff. We do something mixed in with fishing with each episode. Uh, we got a lot of hobbies out here, so we can uh, have some fun with them hopefully in future videos. But let me know if you enjoy the content with Tanner Fox. This is the second, probably the last one with him for just a little bit. Maybe we can link up in the future. Be sure to check out everyone's socials down in the description. What a blast fishing with all of them, along with Devin, who outfished us all. As usual, she uh, <laughs> can catch some big bass, man. She got almost a five pounder out of Deion Sanders' old mansion uh, pond. And so, you know, he lives elsewhere now. But when he did live there, he stocked it with bass. Not like trophies or anything, but he definitely made sure. And I think just over the years, probably like just kept him fed up with uh, shiners, gills, whatever. He probably stocked it with some bait fish who knows really I, I don't have the insights but I know uh, I've seen some bass fishing posts from Deion Sanders in the past as well as him even throwing Guggen baits which is super cool we were throwing all of our gear today while the guys were in town if you guys want to grab anything rods baits the apparel the hooded shirts everything is 10% uh, off with code Weston at GuggenSquad.com and yeah that's really all we've got for you on today's video so we'll catch you guys on the next one until then peace out I feel like a million bucks <laughs>